Hi, my name's Cathy Millett, and this week I'm bringing you five tips about cutting. So why cutting? When I started modelling, I wasn't wrong with cutting, I mean, there's no wrong way to cut, but there were some things I didn't know, so I'm going to pass those top tips on to you and see if it helps you improve your modelling, crafting, whatever it is you're cutting. So first up, number one, knives. There's a lot of knives. And then most people use the X-Acto blade like this for modelling. And I'm as guilty of this as anyone. If I can use the X-Acto blade, I will. But actually, it's not the right blade for everything you cut. Sometimes you need a really heavy monster. Though to be fair, this is more DIY than modelling. I do find that for cutting something like, this is foam board, something like this knife can be better. Depends whether you want to cut curves, but it does cut nice and straight. For a curve, you might do better with a slightly smaller blade like this. If you're cutting something like insulation foam and you haven't got a hot knife, which I'm not including here, then a good old fashioned kitchen bread knife is actually a really useful knife to have. You need something with serrations. If you want to cut circles, you can buy specialised circle cutters. And finally, if you're cutting material, really one of these rotary cutters that rolls like a pizza cutter does the best job. Tip number two, sharpen your blades. I didn't know, shows how little I know about things, that, I mean, I've done it for kitchen knives. I didn't know you could sharpen X-Acto blades until recently. All you need to do is buy a sharpener. This is a diamond sharpener. And you literally, at 30 degrees, you just go down and sharpen 30 degree angle to the blade and you can sharpen your blade and then magically things that it wouldn't cut before it'll cut again now if you don't have a sharpener or you want a fresh blade that brings me on to tip three tip three bulk buy your knife blades this was a pack of a hundred number 11 blades that i bought and i've still got a few left but when i want a new one there's one there i'm not buying them in packs of 10 that i go through really quickly I even have it for, say, my Stanley knife. I've got a hundred pack. Tip number four, use a metal ruler. This is one of the first rulers I bought and it's aluminium. Great, lightweight, easy to use. And I like it because it's got a little bit of a lip, so it's quite thick. I recently discovered, and I can't believe I didn't know about these. It's useful to have clear rulers, isn't it? So you can see what you're measuring through, especially if you get near the edge. But plastic rulers, we've all used them wavy edges after a while not this one this one has a metal strip down the edge of the cutting side how awesome is that and i'll put a link to all these items down below so you can see where i got them from and that brings me on to tip five you've got your knife you've got it all lined up and you want to cut a strip off now i always used to cut i guess it's because it's the way i write left to right and i used to wobble all over the place so if you're cutting the piece you want to keep this side needs to be under the ruler so it's protected. You need to line it up and cut towards you and just cut slight pressure towards the ruler and then you'll get a nice even cut. Best to do it in two passes than one long one or even five passes. There we go. There we go. Five tips. I hope they help you with your cutting. <laughs>